In this video we will guide you through a technical and practical use of the Rock Central platform and in details how users can interact with the different features of the platform. We will start with how a technical user can load data into the platform ending with a how a more general user can visualize them in the analytics application. The interoperable platform collects primary and secondary data. The platform uses primary data collected from sensors and rock tools during the project. Secondary data are those data already available on municipalities' databases, provided by Cities Data Curator. You can access the Rock Analytics platform through a web application at the URL https opendata.rockproject.eu slash rock. The Rock Analytics platform has three main components. A document management system that collects dataset, and made them available as open data. A business layer that aggregates, compares, and correlates data, to measure the advancement of the project. A semantic layer that converts data following the RDF schema. The access to the semantic schema, is possible through an endpoint, and a spatial view that allows also the use of linked open data. The document management system is a customization of CCAN. We use the document management system with a double function, as a data entry point for partner and cities and as portal data for the published data. Datasets produced by cities and tools can be loaded into the system choosing two different ways. The user interface method or the application programming interface method. Once the owner has uploaded the data, he can assign the desired licenses and restriction to each dataset and add search tags and other metadata. But how it is possible to explore or download data from the document management system? An organization identifies a partner or city. Under the organization it is possible to explore or download dataset uploaded by the organization itself. You can explore the resource in a structured way, like a table or a map if latitude and longitude are provided. Or still you can dynamically build a chart related to that dataset. You can download the dataset by clicking on the red button on the top right, named Download, or Go to Resource. The BI layer component is based on a big data storage. The BI layer provides business intelligence functionality with a rich set of data visualizations. An easy-to-use interface for exploring and visualizing data. Plus an easy way to create and share dashboards. The platform provides some predefined dashboards. In order to have a synthetic view of the available data and a more user-friendly way to access, explore and download the aggregate data. Starting to explore some examples we can consider the Atlas data. We use these data to provide a synthetic view and to compare the context and the actions conducted in the different replicator cities. As you can see some charts are by default interactive. By apply external filters user can better explore or compare data coming from different cities or in different periods. Another example of predefined dashboard comes from crowd analytics figures from the rock installation in the city of Bologna, Turin and Cluj-Napoca. Using tabs it is possible to navigate different charts that groups information in a logical order. In the dashboard, all cities footfall, different charts compare crowd analytics in different cities at a specific time. Using the filters it is possible to modify the comparison terms. And again the dashboard named, Environment, Analyze Climate, Pollution and Noise data from sensors installed in Bologna and Eindhoven cities. In order to use data already present in the business layer and make your own analysis. You need to ask for a username and password. In the semantic layer, following the definition of some ontologies related to sensors and KPI, some data are transformed into triples and loaded into a triple store. Users can make queries using standard SPARQL query language and download this data. 
Specifically, for data related to contexts and actions you can surf the linked open data using LOD which allows the interconnection with other data in RDF format available on the web.